It's just, it's like freedom. Yeah, it's just pure adrenaline, pure excitement, and, and just wanting to push it as hard as you can. I think the fastest I've come off is probably around 50 k's an hour, which hurt. <laughs> it's definitely dangerous, and I think, uh, I think that's part of the addiction. You know, I never really get to look down on people. So. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, my name is Taz, uh, riding for ERL national team. Currently number two on the international T race and hoping to get number one back off Jeff. <laughs> my name is Jeff Cameron and I am racing for the ERL national team. I'm currently in first position after working my way up over a couple of years and a few different race boards. I've really worked hard to get that number one position. I'm, I'm fairly competitive in nature. There's a difference between racing an electric skateboard and just riding an electric skateboard. With these tyres, it's probably geared to close to 70 kilometres per hour. Having Taz to compete against has definitely pushed me. Um, it's pushed him as well, but yeah, we're always um, battling each other. My name is Brad Lindsay, um, I'm the CEO of the Electric Racing League and for the Australian team I would be the team manager for our journey to EastgateCon. EastgateCon has been on the to-do list for racing since it started up. Being able to ride with the best and, you know, hopefully beat them. <laughs> like it's the biggest race event in the world. The pro class, the, the top class, I think is only limited to 20 people um, and they select that off the qualifying. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for me really. It's not cheap, you got track fees, they burn through tyres, even just training they, they might get 10 race sessions out of a tyre before they go and that could be 400 bucks, you know. The boards themselves, the outlay on the boards, just getting, getting to Vegas is not cheap, flights and accommodation, yeah it all adds up. It started as a hobby, uh, we take it a bit more seriously than just a hobby but um, it literally just started with a, a post on the Facebook group, um, I was doing regular group rides for the PEVs and um, Taz threw it out there that, you know, let's get some racing done. Uh, ideally, um, we'd, we'd be doing a full documentary in the background which captures the, the journey to Vegas but also the, the, um, the racing league and the growth of the sport. If you look at Netflix Drive to Survive for the F1, I think that did a lot for the sport even though they were already a well established sport. It, it helps people see the people in the sport and see what they're up against and the challenges of a new sport. I, I'd watch that. Um, hi Netflix, if we send this to you, like... <laughs> My name is Michael Scrow. I'm the filmmaker behind the Electric Racing League documentary, uh, which is a long-form project that will follow the Racing League from grassroots to hopefully the World Series. The first frontier, or the, the big one at the moment, is Vegas. Look, there's two really easy ways that you can get involved and help support this crazy dream of ours. Um, the first is through the crowdfunder on the Australian Sports Foundation website. You make a tax deductible donation. The other is through the ERL Sport website, erlsports.com. You can purchase merch that will help us to get to Escape Come.